हरे कृष्ण वेलकम टू ऑल योर प्लीज ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायणम नमस्कृत नरम चैव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तत जय उदीर नष्ट प्रायशो भद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति ही भवती नैष्टिकी हरे कृष्ण दंडवत टुडे वी कंटिन्यू श्रीमद भागवतम के चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू श्लोक नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू थर्टी थ्री श्री उद्धव उवाच प्रकृति पुरुष च उभ यम विलक्षण अन्योन्य अपाश्रयात कृष्ण दृश्य तेन विदात प्रकृत लक्ष्य आत्मा प्रकृति च तथा आत्मनि एवं मे पुंडरिक अक्ष महांत संशय हृदय छेतु अर्रसि सर्वज्ञ वचो भी नय नैपुण ज्ञान ही जीवाना प्रमोशते अत्र शक्ति उवाच प्रकृति पुरुष चीति विकल्प पुरुष ऋषभ एष वैकारिक सर्ग गुण वेति कर आत्मक मम अंग विकल्प बुद्धि च गुण विधत्ते वैकारिक अध्यात्म एक अथ आदि दैव आदिभूत अन्यत दृक रूप अर्क वपु अत्र रंध्रे परस्पर सिद्धती ये आत्मा यम अपर य आद आद्य स्वया अनुभूत अखिल सिद्ध सिद्धि सिद्धि असिद्धि एवं त्वक आदि श्रवणादि चक्षु जीव आदि न नाश आदि च चित्तयुक्त यसौ गुण क्षोभ कृत विकार प्रधान प्रधान मूल अमूलाण मंत प्रसुत अहम त्रिवृत मोह विकल्प वैकारिकेशन एंड परफेक्ट बाय द श्रीला प्रभु पर जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभु पाद की जय श्री उदय इन पॉइंट ऑल दो नेचर एंड द लिविंग एंटिटी आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली डिस्टिंग ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण दे आर अपेयर्स टू बी नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम because they are found residing within one another thus the soul appears to be within nature and nature within the soul o lotus eyed krishna o omniscient lord kindly cut this great doubt out of my heart with you your own words which exhibit your great skill skill in reasoning from you alone the knowledge of the living being arises and by your potency that knowledge is stolen away indeed no one but yourself can understand the real nature of your illusory potency the supreme personality of god had said o oh, best among men material nature and its enjoyer are clearly distinct this manifest creation undergoes constant transformation being founded upon the agitation of the modes of nature my dear uddhava my material energy comprising three modes and acting through them manifests the varieties of creation along with varieties of consciousness for perceiving them the manifest result of material transformation is understood in three aspects adhyatmik adhidevik and adhibhutik sight visible form and the reflected image of the sun within the aperture of the eye all work together to reveal one another but the original sun standing in the sky is self manifested similarly the supreme soul the original cause of all entities who is thus separate from all of them acts by the illumination of his own 
transcendental experience as the ultimate source of the manifestation of all mutually manifesting objects. Similarly, the sense organs, namely the skin, ears, eyes, tongue, and nose, as well as the functions of the subtle body, namely conditioned consciousness, mind, intelligent, and false ego, can all be analyzed in terms of the threefold distinction of sense, objects of perception, and presiding deity. When the three modes of nature are agitated, the resultant transformation appears as the element false ego in three pages, goodness, passion, and ignorance, generated from the Mahatattva, which is itself produced from the unmanifest Pradhan. This false ego becomes the cause of all material illusion and duality. Purpled by the Srila Prabhupada, Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada, Kijay. Sri Uddhava here expresses the doubt that arises in the heart of an ordinary conditioned soul. Although the Vedic scriptures declare that the material body is a temporary fabrication of the material modes of nature, the conscious living entity within the body is actually an eternal spirit soul. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna has declared the material elements constituting the body to be his separated inferior energy, whereas the living entity is the superior conscious energy of the Lord. Still in conditioned life, the material body and conditioned soul appear inseparable and thus uh, non-different because the living entity enters the home of a mother and gradually comes out in a developed body. The soul appears to have entered deeply within material nature. Similarly, by the soul's identification with the material body, the body appears to enter deeply within the consciousness of the soul. What is more, the body cannot exist without the presence of the soul. By this apparent mutual dependence, the difference between the body and soul is obscured. Sri Uddhava therefore questions the Lord in order to clarify this issue. Sri Uddhava requests Lord Krishna to clearly demonstrate the difference between the material body and spirit soul. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, Matta smriti gyanam aponam cha. From me come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. By the Lord's causeless mercy, one is enlightened with knowledge, and by the Lord's illusory potency, that knowledge vanishes, and one is merged into ignorance. Those bewildered by Maya cannot understand the difference between the material body and the spirit soul, and thus should hear from the Lord Himself to remove this illusory covering. The word Purusha indicates the living entity and also the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. The word Sarga here refers to the material amalgamation of the body. The word Sarga here refers to the material amalgamation of the body which covers the living entity. The material body undergoes constant transformation and is thus clearly different from the living entity who is eternally the same. In the transcendental kingdom of God, there is no conflict or hesitation caused by creation, maintenance and destruction as exhibited in the material world. There all variety is resolved in the transcendental loving service of Krishna, conscious the natural constitutional position of the soul. Next, not the year. Uh, the word vikalpa, ek line, ek the word vikalpa buddhi the, indicates that indicates that consciousness within various material bodies reveals different aspects of the Lord's creation. 29 shloka ko Birds such as sea gulls glide on the ocean bridges, experiencing the Lord's creation of wind 
altitude the fish experience life within the water and other creatures intimately experience life within trees or within the earth human society affords its own varieties of and similarly in heaven and hell different experiences are value available all types of material consciousness are transformation of the three modes of material nature the expansions of the lord's illusory energy form is recognized by the function of the eye and the eye's function is understood by the presence of perceivable form this interaction of sight and form further depends on the presence of light provided by the demigods who service of universal management recording chakra depends on the living experiences from within their eyes thus the three factors adhyatma represented by the senses such as the eye adi bhut the sense objects such as form and adi daiva and the influence of the controlling deities exist in an interdependent relationship the sun globe itself is said to be self manifest self luminous and self experiencing it does not share the interdependence of the senses and sense objects although facilitating their function similarly the supreme personality of godhead facilitates the interdependent experiences of all living entities for example newspapers radio and television reveal world events to the mass of people parents reveal facts about life to their children teachers to their students friends to friends and so on the government manifests its will to the people and the people to their government the sun and moon reveal the visual forms of all objects and the perception of sound reveals audible form the vibrations of particular types of music or rhetoric reveal the inner feelings of other living beings and other types of knowledge are revealed by aroma touch and taste in this way through the interaction of the senses and mind with innumerable sense objects different types of knowledge are acquired all such informative interactions however depend upon the supreme illuminating power or the personality of godhead as stated in brahma sahita 5.52 yat chakshu esh savita sakalagrahanam among all the planets the sun is considered the eye of the supreme lord the personality of godhead is eternally omniscient by his own transcendental potency and thus no one can reveal anything to the lord about anything still lord shri krishna humbly accepts our prayers offered in krishna consciousness in conclusion lord krishna clearly explains here that his sublime characteristics are completely different from those of the manifest universe the lord is therefore the supreme transcendental entity free from all material influence the individual soul has no permanent relationship with the interdependent material functions of the senses sense objects and controlling deities the living entity is originally pure spirit soul and is meant to depend on the personality of godhead in the spiritual world it is useless to try to analyze matter and spirit within the same categories since they belong to different potencies of the supreme lord thus the act of spiritually perceiving the supreme lord his abode and one's own self is an entirely anti material process realized within pure krishna consciousness by giving up one's false ego of identification with the three modes of nature one can achieve krishna consciousness the pure original state of existence the word moha vikulp hetu indicates that because of false ego one considers himself to be the enjoyer of nature and thus develops a false sense of material duality in terms of material happiness and distress false ego is removed by identifying oneself as the lord's eternal servitor in full krishna consciousness thus end the purpose om agyanati mirandhasya 
ज्ञानांजना शलाकया चक्षुरून मिलितम येन तस्मै श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्य ददाति स्वदातिक वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रीयुता पदकमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सहगन रघुनाथान्विता तम सजीव साधवैत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिने वाछा कल्पतरूभे कृपा सिंधु भैच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर which is so much important for all of us is giving us such important aspects to contemplate upon and krishna while trying to speak to uddhava is also reestablishing reemphasizing whatever he had told to arjuna so when krishna has told uddhava that the great philosophers have analyzed the material elements in many different ways but still all of their proposals are reasonable because they are presented with ample logic but then this is what is expected of truly learned so dava inquired that maybe it's true god but then nature and living entity are constitutionally distinct but if it is that so how is that there is a no difference between them because they are residing within one another the soul appears to be within nature and nature appears to be within soul so he krishna omniscient lord this doubt is eating me this remove this doubt out of my heart because your own words exhibit your skill in reasoning from you alone the knowledge of living beings arises and by your potency that knowledge at times is stolen away so no one but only you can understand the real nature of your illusory potency so once uddhava said all these things krishna thought it wise now let us come and try to remove this doubt because whatever uddhava had said was obviously perfectly true so krishna responds that material nature and enjoyer are distinct this manifest creation actually undergoes constant transformation because the whole thing is because of the agitation of the modes of nature so krishna's energy 
which comprises of the three modes satogun rajogun tamogun and acting through them the energy manifests the varieties of creation and because of varieties of creation there are varieties of consciousness for perceiving them so the manifest result can be understood in three aspects adhyatmik adi devik adi bhavi a very important aspects which krishna has started to explain so he is now giving more explanation more detail understanding about this so krishna says sight or the visible form and the reflected image of the sun within the aperture of the eye they work together to reveal one another but the original sun is standing there in the sky he is self manifested similarly krishna who is the original cause of all entities and is separate from all of us acts by the illumination of his own transcendental experience and becomes the source of manifestation for all manifesting objects similarly the sense organs the, the five sense organs which are very important skin ears eyes tongue and nose and the functions of the body namely what consciousness mind intelligence and false ego so they can be analyzed in terms of threefold distinction on the basis of sense object of perception and the presiding being so when the three modes are agitated the resultant transformation appears as element false ego now the false ego appears in three phases goodness passion and ignorance and it is generated from mahatvatva which has come from manifestation pradana the false ego becomes the cause of all material illusion and duality so this is a very important aspect which krishna is now explaining so here when krishna is talking about vikalpa buddhi it indicates that consciousness within different material bodies reveal the different aspects of creation so in the purport prabhupada ji explains that sea girls they can glide on the ocean breezes and experience wind altitude but the fish cannot do it now fish experience the life within water those who are living on the trees experience the life within the trees or within the earth and we humans as well have our own varieties of awareness so this is about earth similarly it is in heaven and hell different experiences are available so all types of material consciousness are basically transformations of the three modes of material nature so we have to understand this and act upon so krishna is talking of three factors adhyatma so adhyatma is represented by the senses such as the eye adibhut it is uh, uh, what i say represented by the sense objects such as form and adhi daivik it is the influence of the deities and they have an interdependent relationships and krishna is the source of everything the ultimate source of everything so that is what is important to be understood so the moment we understand this and we are ready to give up our false ego of identification with three modes of nature we can achieve krishna consciousness and that is what krishna had asked us to do when he spoke in bhagavad gita as well where he clearly said in the second chapter 67th verse how the senses if not controlled and the mind if it starts acting or concentrating on if any one cell then the whole life the whole activity will be destroyed and the both will just roam around in wind so similarly we are in this bhav sagar indriya nami charatam yat mano anuvidiyate tadasya harati pradya vayu navam eva ambasi so unless all the senses are engaged in the service of the lord even one of them can deviate the devotee from the path of transcendental advancement 
and so as mentioned in life of maharaj ambridge all the senses must be engaged in krishna consciousness that is the best way to control the mind and once the mind is controlled the intelligence is controlled and the intelligence is controlled then we are assured of going back home back to godhead hare krishna thank you very much